Hey, this is Fertil, and I'm just making a video to showcase the new Maker Block feature in Scratch 2.0 Alpha. Um, this is just a video to quickly show you what it does, and I'll quickly walk you through the scripts, but I won't, you know, I won't take too long. Okay, so this is what the program does. Um, it's not a hard program to make in Scratch 1.4 but this is made using a completely new method um, completely different from the one that we use in 1.4 so as you can see the scratch sketch basically goes to a random point on the screen it takes a random amount of time to do it and he points in a random direction after he's done it that is the project and um, what we've got here as you can see is a define block and it says define start. Start is the um, is like the block that we um, that we use so I can reuse start I can just keep using it over and over again and it's the whole it's the whole project really. So I can make a second block and put it on and change around all of the different variables that make up the um, program and get a completely different result for how fast he goes, where he goes, and you know how long it takes him to get there. Um, so each one of these um, blocks you see here represents a different element of the project. So here is the wait time, which is um, wait time seconds, the start x, so the x position that he starts in, start y, the y position that he goes to um, the direction um, when he gets there, the time it takes him to glide, and this is a failed attempt one, um, and I won't talk about it right now, but um, yeah, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take away this block for a second, this one is just completely random, so it's all of the random blocks all together. And I'll put in this one and I'll make all of them one. And what this will do is it'll take him one second to start up, one second to glide, and he'll point in direction one and he'll go to x1, y1. So if you can see, you know, like everything is one. If I type in 100 to start x, that will slightly change the program. If I type in, if I make the g time 0.1, that will also completely change. Ooh. Okay, there's some kind of failing there. I don't think it likes integers. Or it's just completely broken down. Hello? What's happening here? Oh, okay, I think I get it. Um, yeah, okay, it can't take. The star takes can't take. Um, don't know why. So I just wanted to show you that it's, this is a completely new feature that um, Scratch 2.0 has to offer. Again, it's a bit buggy like you saw. Sometimes it doesn't work. No idea why that is, but it just happens sometimes. Um, I hope you like this video. Um, yeah, uh, see you next time.